Good morning, modern steaders. It's a winter wonderland here at Lumna Acres this morning. Uh, the other the other day we got probably a half inch to an inch of rain, and then we got snow on top of it, about five to eight inches. And then it dropped down to negative 13 degrees Fahrenheit. And this morning it's 30, snow, switching back over to rain, and then snowing again. So it's gonna be interesting to see what happens. All of our trees are covered in ice and snow. We lost power the other day, so I don't know what's gonna happen today when we get more rain. I'm hoping it stays warm enough and it's not smelting all the other ice and it doesn't add more ice on top of it. I talk about the weather quite a bit on our channel, not because I'm complaining about it, but because the weather dictates a lot of what we do, when we do it, and how we do it. <laughs> Seems like we're always planning around it to be out in front of it. Come on, boys. Looks like you got whitewash there, Zeke and Caleb. Come on, little man. The trees are covered in ice. They're already pretty heavy and wet right now. Come on in. You girls ready? Well, how many babies you got this year? Last year you had three. The year before that you had two. So are we sticking with three or are you gonna switch up and go with four this year? There you go. I'm liking how the goat stop doesn't have any snow in it. We got a face in the right direction, that tells me. We got a bunch of really good name suggestions for the new chicken coop. We did a poll on the community tab on YouTube. I'll put a link to that in the video description down below if you guys want to go vote and let us know which one you think we should choose. Morning, moose and ladies. You the last one to come out, moose, or what? Morning, mister. I know, it's snowing out. You don't like coming out when it's freshly snowed. Maverick and Goose, you're waiting. You're putting the pressure on. It's a lot warmer today, isn't it? Lay as many eggs for us as you can. We'll be out this afternoon to collect them. We need to figure out the angle to cut our rafters at. And then we need to figure out our overhang. Turn our light on, make it easier to find the right angle, but I believe it should be an eight degree angle. Nine, that works too. So we need to cut a nine degree angle. One going one way, and then the other end, it's gonna go the opposite direction at 91 inches. So that's the long point. We're going to go short point 91. So it would go this way. Bam. So when you sat down and figured it out the other day, when's Willow's due date? If she's due. If she's due. April. April was the 11th. Awesome. So our first batch of baby goats, the beginning of April. Is she pregnant? I believe she's pregnant. She looks like the right size bigger. She does. She hasn't gone back into heat. No, she hasn't. She only went to heat those two times. Same with Blossom. Blossom, no, Buttercup hasn't been back into heat. But hers, nothing looks different. No, but, and then Blossom. Um, Blossom, I had a dream that she went back into heat. Again. <laughs> it would be shortly if she does. 
getting tight on space. Which one? Bottom one, looks like someone chewed it. We got quite a few of those. Yeah, okay, I'll put that back outside. She rejected our wood selection. We gotta figure out where we wanna pre-drill our holes. We gotta figure out the right overhang, and then we'll get going to town. Bang. Should be roughly the same, 44 and a quarter. Make sure we're on the same layout. 44 and a quarter. Nine and three quarters. What are we now? We're seven and a half on the back, and we are eight and a half. If we go eight, it don't matter. Okay. It, e it equals out to be the same. I like it. Fishing, what you catch? Yeah. Anything good? I know, but it's got a full battery. Not that I know of. That should do it. Gonna have a roof on it in no time. So now our mocks should line up. My head. Over here. Um, yeah, we'll stop. There's a hole. Got a hole. 
hold mine down for you. Hold on. Okay, go for it. I'll try not to hit you in the head. No guarantees. Hit you good, knock you out. Right there, let me get my hand out of your way. Perfect. All right, so let's go this way. Come to me a smidge, okay. Are you ready, you wanna do it at the same time again? Like synchronized swimmers, but synchronized screwers? Yeah. Ready? Yeah. Go. You beat me? What? You cheated. How did I cheat? I don't know. Just, yeah, you must have, my... you must have cheated. We racing? Are you, are you ready to go? Hold on, wait. Are now you I am. You ready? No, I'm not ready. Hold on. Okay. Go. Go. Oh, oh no, I stopped and I wanted to stop. Oh no, I beat you. No, I stopped and then I started again because of the knot. I didn't know if I could get further. Oh, you still weren't done yet. We got two more to go. Beat. You think you did? Wait, Ty, I, you didn't beat me. I beat you. I just pushed the button. We better be able to get this out of here. You don't want this stuck in? No. Stuck in here? No, you supposedly had it all figured out. I know. You do make me second guess things sometimes, though. Cause you're always like, oh, can you get it out? Okay, we got a nine foot garage door and this is gonna be eight feet at the top. So we'll have six inches on each side. So yeah, we got it, we got it. Thank you. I think so, yeah.
Yeah, we both need our milk crates. We're both short. We both got the same challenges. You're probably hanging, so. That's why I gave you the shorter end. I got the taller end. All right, if you just want to make sure that end is good. Perfect. Perfect. Awesome. Go for it. That's fine. So we need to cut one at 83 and three quarters. Three and three quarters. Oh, well. Then we'll need another one cut at 74. We're getting so tight on space. <laughs> All right, come down with your end a little bit. No, just come down, lower it down the whole thing. Why do you want to do that? I just need to get this end flush and then we'll straighten it out. All right. Seventy-four and five-eighths. Flip it over. And go right to the edge. Yeah, go right to the edge. We're gonna need 83 and 3 eighths. Yeah. How's that? Good. It's perfect on this end. Then I'll need one at 83 and 3 eighths. Thank you. There, we got it all strapped. Now we can put the roof material on. All right, 
I know we have a container, haha, right here, of roofing screws. There we go. I know they're green roofing screws and we're gonna have white roof, but these are left over from the barn build. So why build buy more when we already have a bunch on hand? Right, my love? Save money, right? I can't see that roof. No, we can't. This is your favorite stuff. I love this stuff. I have a love-hate relationship with this. Just because it's hard to work with it. It's very hard to work with. It likes to slide, but it's light. The reason I like it is because it's so light. more rows to put some screws in and we're gonna have the roof all done. There we go. We better take care of this before somebody gets it in the noggin. One down, one more to go. Perfect. Gonna do some baked potatoes in the oven. I'm gonna poke some holes. I know I wanted to use some leftover chicken, but I wasn't sure how I wanted to cook it. And if I just do the chicken, just heating it up, it will dry out. So I'm going to take a part of a recipe I just found, just um, a, heart, a honey garlic um, chicken. So I'm just gonna make that sauce and hopefully that will come out and then I'll add my chicken to it to heat it up. Go ahead and post the whole recipe below. But I am just gonna do the sauce. I'm just gonna heat up my oil and saute my, up my garlic, and then I'll add the honey, my garlic. How I loved you just the same. It only matters where we're going, it never mattered from where you came. you down, steals your crown, and breaks your will. Oh, life, I'll pick you up, brush all the dust, and hold you still. I will tell you when you're older, how I loved you just the same. It only matters where we're going It never mattered from where you came And go to sleep, my darling All the night is getting Go ahead and add the chicken to it so it can get the flavor Thinly and add that. Roast it in the oven for about 15 minutes. And I will tell you where I'm your order. How I love you just to say it only matters where we're going. It never mattered from where you came. Never mattered 
Well, I think the rain missed us. They changed the forecast, which is nice. Yeah. So we shouldn't have to worry about any power outages. That's right? But if you stand out of the trees, Olivia, it's above freezing. I don't know if you're showing care, but look at that all. All the ice is melting off the trees. Yeah. That is awesome. You can hear it, listen. The ice is melting. Oh, that's the sure sign springs around the corner. I'm getting dripped on. It is, it's like rain, huh? Yeah, it is. It's, like rain. it's raining out from the trees melting. Need a hood. I do have two. The other day I was saying I got a treat for the chickens and then I've got to give it to them. We got some grublies. I don't know if you guys have seen this on Instagram and Facebook lately. I have. So I said, you know what? I want to try it. So these are doo 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 doo. Oven dried black soldier flies, and the ones that you can usually get at like tractor supply are mealworms. And if you read them, most of them say, or all the ones that I've ever seen say, come from China. I don't know about you, but I don't want to be <laughs> giving my chickens Chinese treats. So, these ones are made or grown in the USA. So I figured we'd try them. And then I was reading the back, it says, where is it? Grubly farms, we raise grubs on food waste that would otherwise go to the landfills. They convert the food into organic compost and we harvest the nutrient-dense grubs to make grublies. So it's supposed to have 50% more calcium. So let's see if the girls like these treats. I wonder if Maverick and Goose will like them. Okay. Who's coming first? There you go. Who's ate the first one? Are those good? I think you would like them because you keep going in the same way. Can I put a fire over there too? You want to give some to Maverick and Goose? They smell kind of good. Oh yeah, look at them. <laughs> They're like, yes, sir. Oh, snow almost fell on them. Their pile's almost gone. I will say, they smell pretty good. Mm -hmm. They smell nutty, like a peanut butter almost, don't they? Yeah, they do. Yeah. If I had to in a survival situation, I'd eat them. I know what they are, so I'm not going to eat them just now for the heck of it. You want to eat one? No, no. You sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Okay. Say Cinco. Quattro. Quattro. Boop. Uno, dos. Shh, you do one at a time. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, six. Woohoo! The ladies are picking up their egg production. That's a sure sign of spring being right around the corner. Thank you, ladies. Are you saying those are some good grublies? They ate them all. They're all gone. Uh, I think the ladies are cleaning them up. Now we just got to remember to give them to them for like a week straight every day. And then we can see how their eggshells are. And I'm curious to see if their yolks get oranger and if they taste better. Because right now in the winter time, their yolks are kind of just meh. They're not the best color. They're not the best flavor because they're not eating bugs. I'm hoping the grublies help. Who's jumping on me? Um, little pee. A little pee. I'm going to put it in for another 10 minutes starting to look good, but I think it needs a little bit more time.
that honey garlic glaze is delicious. We're gonna have to make this kind of like a normal glaze that we make when we have leftover chickens. I'll leave it in the lit video link down below. Uh, one of those things when you know you need to use it, the plastic roof material, it's not fun to use. It likes to slide around, but man, is it so worth it. It weighs like a third of the weight of metal roofing. So for us, when we're trying to make these buildings that we can move around in the homestead, it just saves so much weight. We got it on the pasture pig mobile. We used it on the goat stop. We've used it on uh, the goat feeder and now the new chicken coop. I'm gonna have a poll in the video description down below also. We got some awesome names for the new chicken coop. So if you guys wanna vote on it, and then we'll pick the best name or the name who's got the most. Wow, I'm all tongue twisted today. Got the most votes. Thanks for coming along on our journey list, guys. You're a huge blessing to us in our homestead. And we'll see you right back here in the next video at Lumna Acres.